What is going on, it is Mario's Luigi, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna. This is a brand new li Team Liquid shirt, but I don't know how the blue is gonna end up working. I need to figure out how exactly to get the uh, blue to not be super saturated when I use when I do the Chroma King in Vegas. Well, that doesn't matter to any of you. Uh, I just thought I'd mention it. Also, uh, I meant I mentioned this in the uh, in episode eight of the of. Uh, Mystery Dungeon DX. I have a I have a pro controller now, and it's very freaking loud. It's this thing's making a lot of noise, but you can hear how my movements are slightly above, slightly a decent amount ahead of this, <laughs> but it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, it's just it's really loud, and I'm attempting to keep it as quiet as possible. I can't really fit. Uh, this whole situation under my desk because of where every my whole setup is so uh, I'm trying to keep it as far away from the camera or excuse me the microphone as I can so hopefully it will not be too loud if you do hear a bunch of clicking and clacking and stuff I apologize that's because this the sticks on this thing are just incredibly loud but anyways yeah what did we even do in the last episode was that the battle of the eagle and lion I think it was so I think that's what we did in the last episode. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even know what really is new about this month. I don't know why it is so, but being here makes me feel quite unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit. It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? Sometimes. Sure. And yet, it feels familiar, as though pulled from a corner of my memory, from a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. This is to do with everything on uh, Remire and such. Anyway. Oh, I have a lot of things to do! What? Someone call me out for shoveling gifts onto people? Nasa? Yes. Do you have time for a request? You've been getting along really well, almost too well with the students lately. Friendships between teachers and students is wholly unacceptable. Well, this is America. We we do things like that here. <laughs> anyway, we will hear you defend your actions in the tournament. What does this mean? Does this mean the brawling tournament? Win the proper conduct tournament. Okay. Alright, let's do some gardening. Uh, let's harvest. We got a fruit of life. I'll bet that ups HP. Wouldn't wouldn't be too surprised. Alright, let's do white, purple, and yellow. Because why not? And let's cultivate with scatterbone meal. God, this controller is so loud. Wait, Shamir did do have a support. I didn't even realize that. Alright, cool. Uh, I need to figure out what lost items I have, because I didn't deliver several of them from last month. <laughs> Subset it. What is it? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. You had a mission for me, I don't know. I assume know. you know by now that the four saints are all important figures in the teachings of Sarah. Sure. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethleen. I have Great. something to ask of you. Many students have disappeared recently. If you learned anything pertinent, please inform me quickly and discreetly. Sure. Oh, we have that thing with Catherine and Shamir. Oh man, I forgot about this mission. You basically have to do a ton of fetch quests and just give... Okay, I think that I found it already. What? A two-toned whetstone. Right. I need to also speak to Catherine specifically. Just look at my head go back and forth. Uh... Oh, right. Uh... Who did I help out last time? I might actually look up that episode. Because I think... I kind of would rather help out Shamir, but I need to give you, uh... Your... Freaking letter to Rhea. Oh, this is mine. A relaxing day at the monastery is what I called it. 
<laughs> I, the episode I called it, A Relaxing Day at the Monastery. It's not what it feels like so far. Last time I gave it to Shamir. Okay, well, I'd rather, I kind of randomly picked one. This time we're gonna give it to Catherine. <laughs> it's like a fetch quest thing. You get one item and you have to give it to the person who wants it. Then they give you something else. Then you keep trading a bunch. <laughs> I forget how many there are. There's like a ton of them. I have a request. Participate in a mock battle with the students of Soldier's House Feldarius. What? Sure. So we have a bunch of missions then, don't we? <clears throat> Sup, dude? I'm sorry to ask this of you, but I would deeply appreciate it if you would promise to keep my association with Edelgard to yourself. It is a complicated history, what she and I share. No problem, brother. Start this freaking fetch quest. I am in your debt, Professor. Wait, I unlocked the support with somebody. I have no idea who it is. <laughs> That's that. Looking for this. You threw it in the bushes. What is it? Oh, Professor, can I join your class? Wait. Yes. I actually did that completely on accident. You know what? I am okay with it. It's fine by me. Rad! <laughs> I actually did that on accident. Um, I mentioned, like, when it came to Dorothea, people always having Dorothea, that maybe because it's easier to recruit her because you accidentally spam A and then you recruit and you go into that whole conversation. Um, that's kind of what happened right there. I was spamming A, uh, clicking through her conversation, and I accidentally started the conversation again. So I was giving her the still life thing that fell out, that fell out, that she had thrown outside of the house. So, cool, we got Birdie on our team. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Hey, I don't know how much I'll use her, though, because, uh, I used her all of Black that. Eagles, and even though she was a badass, I have enough people on my team right now that I Here, to use, but at least now I can bet you in a pretty much, definitely. <laughs> Fantastic. Sure, we got a fire amulet. You have no idea. Is that the fire emblem? Did I make that joke last time? <laughs> Want to trade me what you're holding for it? Sure. Thanks, Professor. This is great. A glowing stone. Great. I don't know. Who I, it's just, it's just, it's just like, so many freaking people. Mercedes, really? What's that you've got there? A glowing stone. Would you mind trading it with me for this? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. I'll be sure to take great care of it. The path of dawn. It's about that thing you have there. Yes. If it's not too much of a bother. Would you trade it for this? Sure. Thank you so much. I'll treasure it forever. Medicinal eye drops. That seems like an interesting thing to trade somebody. That's it. Why don't you trade it for this? Sure. Excellent doing business with you, Professor. <laughs> and I we have the... to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we have the two-tone whetstone. Now I can give it to Catherine and be done with this stupid mission. I'm only giving it to Catherine because I gave it to Shamir and Black Eagles. <laughs> Just kind of randomly picking, um, spamming the button over and over again. You brought it, pal. Give it here. Excuse me. I asked here you go. The Sorry. The professor likes you better than me. That's not true, but it's Thanks. okay. Here's your prize. Maybe I'll let you borrow it later, Shamir. I knew I could count on you. Uh huh. It's actually thinking about it, it's a little more useful for me to have that sword anyway. But, yeah. You've been challenged. Defend yourself. Oh, I have to do it myself now. And it's a brawling tournament. Oh, wait. The weapon uses the training sword? Let's do it. You got this... Um... This is probably not going to end up being very good. <laughs> is that this month only? 
No, good. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> I need absolutely nothing. Why is there? Why is the ground glowing over here? Oh, that for Sedith. Well done. You have my thanks. No problem. A bit older than everyone else. What? So I just answered Mercedes's question. That was at the uh, little box in the the monastery, the monastery part, the friggin' church, cathedral. That's the word. Um, and it's mentioned that she wanted to be like something or other and uh, more of a I don't know, mother figure and whatnot, and she's older than everybody. I'm like, excuse me? She's 23! What? That's bonkers, bro. Because everyone else on my team that isn't like a knight or whatever is like... Obviously, Sylvain's like the oldest at 20. That's... That's bananas. So, I, it's... I'm still... I'm happy we have her on it. We have... Bernie on our team, because then I don't have to, uh, because, like, she, I literally married her in Black Eagles, so there's that, and I don't, I love, I love Bernadette, I Bernadette is awesome. Okay, actually, we can just do with this one. Who is it? Professor. With Aloise? Okay. Sure. I'm surprised about that. Hello, Professor. You're really on the move today. A lot to get done, I take it? I'm happy to help. Tell me, is there anything I could do to lighten your load a bit? Uh, I appreciate the offer, but... Oh, surely there must be something. Don't be shy about asking for help. We're practically siblings, after all. Cut from the same cloth. I was raised by Gerald just as you were, so we should have no trouble getting along. You were raised by Gerald? Huh? <laughs> Did I not mention that? How thoughtless! What an embarrassing gaffe! My parents died when I was small, and I came to live in the monastery. It was an aimless existence. But sometimes, a knight would pass by, wearing magnificent armor. That knight was Geralt. And the first time he laid eyes on me, he made me his squire. What was he thinking, huh? Sounds like Geralt. <laughs> no kidding. I don't think I'll ever fully understand his logic. Later, I heard that the squire preceding me had died of a terrible plague. <laughs> yeah. I looked a bit like him and was about the same age, so Gerald thought me a suitable replacement. A little nutty old Gerald, there's no doubt about that. Quite a character. All that was more than 30 years ago. How time flies. Do you know his age? Actually, I'm not entirely sure. You never asked him? Well, Gerald hardly seems to have aged since then. In fact, over drinks he once told me... Uh, <laughs> perhaps that's a story for another day. At any rate, that's Gerald for you. One of a kind. I don't think there's anyone else quite like him. Yeah, probably not. Right. Well, now you've heard my whole story. I hope that you understand now why I feel such a strong sense of attachment to you. If you're ever in a bind, just give me a holler. I'll help however I can. Thanks for offering, but I can handle myself. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, I'll uh, let you get back to it. But truly, if I can take anything off your plate, don't hesitate to let me know. Well, thanks, Eloise. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right, let's do some supports. Apparently, whatever other support I have is it with Shamir? What? I support with Manuela. All right, let's do our B. I have a B support with Rhea. Let's go do that one, and we'll go find Manuela's. Hello, Professor. It is so nice to see you here. It brings me great joy to know that you wish to visit with me again. I have this odd feeling that recently you've been trying to avoid me. I'm not in Black Eagles anymore, so that's not actually necessarily the truth. 
but that isn't so. I am relieved to hear that. In any case, I am delighted by this opportunity to speak with you again. <laughs> My, how laughable I must seem. I imagine you must be dumbstruck by how unbecoming my behavior is for the Archbishop of all of Fodlan. I'm sorry to make you feel that way. Oh, please do not waste your apologies on me. I am perhaps oversensitive. But thank you all the same. You are very kind. In any case, how are you feeling? Have you experienced anything strange since you began wielding the Sword of the Creator? I can't say that I have. Oh, I am glad. There are so many legends about that blade, I was worried that carrying it may result in some strange side effect. Has there really been nothing odd? A tightness in your chest? Strange dreams? Anything of the sort? Oh. Hmm. I'm trying to think that I, I was thinking about the last one. I'm like, there's a young girl. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, Sothis. Um, <clears throat> I want to. I want to talk about this one. Actually, there is a young girl. So you saw a young girl, and she. Oh, it made me go to. Ooh. I'm afraid I can't explain such an occurrence, but it may very well have something to do with that relic of yours. Please know that you are welcome to come to me about anything. I am here for you, always. By the way, when I see you at work giving such splendid guidance to all of your students, I want you to know that it brings me great joy, as though I myself am receiving the benefit of your kindness. All right. Now, I wish I'd kind of saved before that, and I would have <laughs> literally reset and then done that over again so that I didn't say that. <laughs> Concerning Sothis. Uh, I don't know. I didn't think that that would happen. <laughs> being completely honest. Alright, we have the beast support with Manuelas. Let's do that too. I... Who... Oh, settle down and stop with the knocking. I'll be there in two shakes. Uh, you were sleeping. Oh, dear. Professor? Is that you? I... just a moment. Oh, what should I do? I can't open the door in this state. Manuela, you simply must quit oversleeping. Hold on. Where are my clothes? I can't even find my... Where in blazes is my underwear? <laughs> oh, I... What is my dressing robe belt caught on? I can't tie this properly. It's not even covering. Oh, Manuela. This will have to do. Um, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. Just, uh, just <coughs> hold on a moment. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Sorry to have kept you waiting. So, what do you want? Uh, what were you doing? <laughs> Excuse me? You had a reason for coming here, I assume. I've put a lot of time and effort into making it possible to talk with you, you know. Sorry. No, you've done nothing wrong. Let's just say I'm not having a good day. Actually, I didn't have a good night. <laughs> Never mind. What did you want, anyway? Uh, I have a message from a knight. You heard from him? The fellow from last night? Huh. What did he have to say? He said we'll never go out together again. Yeah. Figures. Kind of saw it coming, actually. That's why I came back to my room and went to bed. To get over it. Bed. Thank you for checking in on me. Was that all you wanted? Well then, good night. Sleep well. Poor Manuela. That was only our C support? Oh, I thought we had a B support before that. No worries, we just had our B support with uh, Rhea. We, I mean, we done. We got to A support with her and Black Eagles, so. Alright, we have to do in Shamir. 
Which is an interesting support. I didn't think they were by each other much in the last Shimmy battle. But... Uh, it's... You. What is it? I have a message from His Highness. He will meet you in front of the library tomorrow evening. Evening, library, front. Got it. Oh, one more thing. A bug landed on your shoulder. Sorry if I startled you. Hmm. Anything else? No. Good. You get to the point. It makes you easy to deal with. Likewise. No need to say what isn't worth saying, right? Precisely. Few others seem to think so. Agreed. <laughs> that is all. Farewell. Farewell. All right. <laughs> nice. Okay, we are once again going to literally buy all of the items, one, yes. and I'm going to shovel them on people because I like I to do that. One, yes. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. I think this one, yes. How much gold is that total? It's like what three thousand? I think this one, yes. Four thousand, four thousand one hundred for each one. Cool. All right. Return soon, please. Well. Hey, welcome. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. 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 A ple. You have a good. A pleasure. You have a good. A ple. You have a good. A pleasure. I don't know why the way it went all the way down there. That's fine. Good eye. A pleasure doing business. No, no, God damn it. You have a good eye. A pleasure. You have a good eye. A pleasure. Come again. All right, we're good. Bernadetta has a boy on. What? Why does Bertie have a bully on? I'll take that. Thank you. Actually, while I'm here what thinking about it, buy? let's replenish our battalions. Whoops. No, replenish all of them. 167 gold. Not too bad. Great. Farewell. Faculty and night mixer tonight. Interesting. Until stalled. All right. I'm thinking of bringing along. Well, who do I bring along? I'm gonna. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I was thinking about bringing along Shamir. Shamir's not the biggest fan of this, but she also has no motivation. I would bring along her and Dimitri. Because neither of them have the motivation. So let's do it! Why not? <laughs> May as well. Hmm. I like seeing a table full of my favorite dishes. Looks good. I will eat well and restore my strength. Oh, max out for Shamir, but three for Dimitri. Nice. I unlocked the support with somebody. I don't actually know who it is, because I've given a bunch of crap to people. Okay, it could be Ingrid, it could be Marianne. Um who else should I give stuff to? You? So far that may be it. And then flame, but it wouldn't be flame. Professor. I did give him a float. Right, I gave him a fishing float. We got a support with Sedith. Ah, there you are. I apologize for calling you in so suddenly. Please, sit. There is a matter I would like to discuss with you. I believe I've told you this before, but it is my responsibility to aid the Archbishop in all her duties. What are these duties? Spiritual instruction, ceremony oversight, donation management, all of the Church's many administrative tasks. I oversee not only the priesthood, but also the Knights of Seros and the Officers Academy. The Archbishop entrusts a great deal to my discretion, and I am honored by her confidence. Even when she must make decisions herself, she often seeks my counsel in advance. And yet, your appointment to a teaching position at the Officers Academy was a complete surprise to me. Not only that, but you have also been entrusted with the Sword of the Creator. I was as surprised as anyone else to learn that. Frankly, I am just not sure how to handle you. 
I am the Archbishop's right hand, and yet when it comes to you, I have been told almost nothing. You don't trust me? Not quite. I do find you to be a trustworthy individual, but my subjective opinion is not enough. I have a duty to be cautious. Should the Archbishop's trust in you prove to be misplaced, it is the faithful who will suffer most. First, I would like to know just how much you know about yourself. You are the child of Geralt Eisner, correct? I think so. That's quite a vague reply for such a basic question. In the future, I would advise you to answer such queries with confidence. As the former captain of the Knights of Seros, Geralt is renowned throughout Fodlan. If you really are his child, then no one would voice any complaint about you joining the Knights. How long has it been since you became a mercenary? About ten years, I think. Given your youth, that hardly seems likely. Come to think of it, I have never asked your age. Just how old are you, exactly? Well, um... Your face says it all. You truly don't know, do you? Just what was Gerald thinking, raising you this way? Given your responses thus far, I feel as though any further questions would just be a waste of our time. However... Permit me to make one thing clear. Whatever her reasons, the Archbishop has placed great faith in you. Do not betray that trust. That is all. I have apparently another sport with Flane. Which makes sense. I just gave her two of, the two of her favorite flowers. I don't know where her thing will be. But I'm going to go give a bunch of random shit to people again. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what the B support is with Flane, so we'll, we'll figure it out. Because that we got it. We definitely got it, I think, in Black Eagles. Um, we didn't get A support because that's probably a post time skip thing, and the Black Eagles, you don't get Flane. But, um, or at least on your squad, past the time skip or whatever. Anyway, not important. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's see what it is. It has been a while since we last spoke, Professor. Spare me a moment again, will you not? Of course. You recall how you helped me and allowed me to join your class, yes? I have learned a great many things since then. Indeed, I have truly grown so much. This personal growth is due in large part to you. And I wish to express my gratitude, sincerely. I'm not sure you've grown that much. Excuse me? Are you implying that I am still naive? I will have you know that I have made many friends and am constantly learning new things. Why, when I go to the market, alone, I even haggle. You must be familiar with the delicate art of haggling, in which one negotiates a lower asking price for an item. That is the type of knowledge common only to those as mature as myself. Alone. <laughs> How old are you again? Who? Me? Um, have you not asked this once before? It is a bit rude to ask repeatedly, you know. He never told me. Is that so? Well, it seems we have something in common, since I do not know your age either. Come now, there is nothing to be gained from focusing so heavily on age. Touching on a previous discussion, I think I have learned more about you. I mentioned how you possess an air of mystery. I compared you to any old sea, but I have come to realize you are more like a particular sea, one I have seen before. When I was quite small, my mother would take me out to play in the sea. She was an excellent fisher, my mother. I grew to love fish deeply because of her. Were you going with this? Well, you see, fish are... Oh. Wait, I was talking about the sea, was I not? Anyhow, I sense that, like the sea, your depths are seemingly impenetrable. Yet, despite your unknowable depths, there is something familiar about you. It's as if we have met somewhere long, long ago. You think we've met before? No, I do not think so. It is all quite strange, really. I wonder if we might be distant relatives. <laughs> mm. 
No, that cannot be it either. After all, if we were related, that would mean... Hmm. Though considering all that Rhea has done, it is not entirely outside the realm of possibility. Hmm? Oh, apologies. Just muttering to myself. It is nothing. Mutterings aside, I mean to say that you do not feel like a stranger to me. For whatever reason, I feel deeply connected to you. And for this, I am glad. I think this is the conversation that made me start thinking uh, and having a couple theories specifically concerning my character and Rhea go around in my head. Um, I don't think that exactly is how is what the truth is, but I think that Blue Lions is the one we'd actually figured it figure it out. So, uh, I guess I'm interested to figure to to learn about that because that that could be very cool. Okay, I've given out all of the gifts, so I'm going to end free time. Cool. Professor. Oh, the be Okay, let's see. Sylvain, the best way to impress people is to save them by diving into harm's way. That's what a great knight does, yeah? So let's focus on my axe and heavy armor skills. Um... Isn't a great knight also a, ra a riding unit? He's already, like, really good at riding, so for now, for now, why not? Oh, Mercedes went up in reason. Cool. Alright, today we're going to probably do one of the random missions and then one of our... One of the paralogues, I would imagine. Ooh, we did Tales of the Red Canyon, didn't we? At some point. I remember the thumbnail for this episode. Actually, I can see it in my head right now. But, should I do one of these random missions? Oh, they're like super underleveled. I probably should do them, but... We have until, like, basically until the time skip to do all these as well. And I'd like to do them now, but maybe this one month I'll break up into literally, like, three episodes. <laughs> well, I'll do this one today, this first two weeks, and then next week we'll end up doing two sets of battles. And then we'll have the actual mission or Meyer Village in the next episode. I could do that. And also what I'll do for... Tales of the Red Canyon and Rumored Nuptials. Actually, I'm going to do both of those. Oh, should I do both those in this episode? I think I should. Because they're both ones we've done. I'm going to like skip through the battle parts. And I'm going to keep in the things where the people actually say stuff. But the battles, since we've already done them... Um, in, in episodes. They were literally titled those episodes, by the way. So if you wanted to go look up those actual battles and see the full thing, you could look up Tales of the Red Canyon or Rumored Nuptials. Uh, it, they're both in the Black Eagles playlist, but I think that we'll do these um, and get them done. So we'll start with, let's see, we'll start Rumored Nuptials since it's a much lower leveled mission. Rumored Nuptials, White Clouds, Chapter 8, The Flame in the Darkness. What's the matter, Ingrid? I never hear you sigh like that. Oh, hi, Dorothea. And hello, Professor. Nothing's the matter. Well, nothing major. You don't look like it's nothing major. <laughs> then again, I suppose you always have a furrowed brow, don't you? Truth be told, there's rather a lot going on. It seems that there's always something to worry about. What's worrying you right now? Now? Oh, I, I really did not wish to bother you with such trivialities. You see, I received a letter from my father recently. From Count Galatea? What a kind gentleman to have for a father. I thank you. But the content within the letter is what I find troubling. Let me see. Oh, it's a marriage proposal. For you. Uh, do you know the suitor? I've not met him, though I've heard his name here and there. He began life as a merchant, but has somehow achieved rank in court. An enterprising noble from an allied territory. It's most likely that he wants the crest of Daphnal that I bear to adorn his family name. Hmm. 
Yes, that sounds about right. The jerk. You sound as though you know him. Do you? Yes, I must admit that I know him. He tried to court me when I was a singer. Best advice I can give you, Ingrid? Stay far, far away from this guy. He's offered a sizable dowry, so I must at least consider it. For the sake of my family. Dowry? <laughs> Blood money. That's all it is. Dorothea, I... This jerk's entire fortune is soaked in blood. Do you want to rebuild your own house using that kind of money? I mean, it's all just rumors, but I think it still might be worth investigating. What do you think, Professor? Should we go check this guy out? Let's go! Great! Let's tell the others! Uh, really? <sighs> okay... All right, before we actually go into battle, I'm gonna repair some of my stuff because my stuff Thanks actually is taking a beating. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Is and Dimitri's that the one? lance. A bunch. Oh my god, I didn't realize Felix was already the same level as the other big three. <laughs> That's crazy. My god, Felix is overpowered. All right, I'm gonna bench one or all of them for the some of the others that I should bring along, even though I don't really care so much about bringing Anne along. I want to bring her just because she's super low level. <laughs> and I have to bring Ingrid, obviously, because Ingrid is a part of the paralogue. Yeah, I'll bring our Anna and Bernie instead of Dimitri and Sylvain. Alright, yeah, route the enemy and get Ingrid to the target, and then defeat us if either Ingrid or Dorothea falls. The more we look into this guy, the more I see he's a monster and no good for my Ingrid. No kidding. There's no denying it. We better get back to the monastery. <laughs> Hold on a minute, you brats. Hand over the girl. Surely you can't mean me. Wait, did he send them? This jerk figures he can grab Ingrid before things get too messy for him. Of course, we know the truth about him now, and he'll want to kill us and get rid of the evidence. But we'll never let him take Ingrid. Come on, let's hurry! Protect Ingrid! Don't let anyone get near her! Haha! <laughs> You'll never escape! When Ingrid reaches her destination, you'll win the battle. Ingrid is also a flying unit, so... Uh, and Ingrid can handle herself. She is one of the highest level units in my party. And yeah, and I if there's any actual other dialogue things, I'll cut I'll stop the speed through and uh I'll that'll I'll, that'll get played. is giving orders to the bandits. I bet if we take him out, reinforcements will cease. That'll be your job, Ingrid.
are really getting on my last nerve. Yeah, 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 you can handle them. Fucking hell, they can't do nothing to you, really. Ugh, I hit again. Let's go for Smash with the Steel Axe. I'm gonna probably just commentate this little next bit because it's gonna be a little less editing than uh, speeding all this part up too. I must steal myself. Okay. So how much damage are you doing to one of these guys so that all of them? All right, that you're good. You're one hundred percent just fine. Over already. Ingrid's level 21. Fucking hell. And I, she actually, like, maxed out her class. Ah, oh, the Venom Sword. Fuck's sake, bro. Actually, hold on. Oh, yeah, that still puts her in the same. Okay. Have you wait out there, because that's going to not be very fun for you for a little bit. I shouldn't have do have been fighting side by side a lot this past little bit, so. She honestly. She. They honestly might get a support between the two of them. What are you dodging, Grid? And just get moving on down here. We're almost done. It seems a bit weird to put me here and not actually attack, but I want Bernadetta to knock him out and get the XP. Level 17 for her. She's catching up quick, which is, you know, makes sense. She wasn't down too far to begin with. <laughs> so, we're good. Um, I'll see if I can get Dorothea out of here. Actually, you know, we'll, leave, we'll literally leave her where she is. Uh, and then just start, just move her, move her set as, um, because I don't need to really move Dorothy at all, because Ingrid will reach the destination on the next turn. Oh, she's actually going to crit. Nice. I was just doing it because why not? <laughs> uh. All right. Can you do? Yes, baloney. Good. It's done. Oh, we literally just routed the enemy. Nice. Of course, Singer gets MVP. She grew two levels in this battle. <laughs> oh, great. What do we get? The Galatea Pegasus Company. Nice. Ingrid, welcome back. Did you speak with your father? I did. I just returned to the monastery. What happened with the proposal? As soon as I informed him of the suitor's unsavory tendencies, he rejected the proposal outright. Were we to form ties with such an individual, it would bode poorly for our family, regardless of the weighty dowry offered. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad it all worked out. You and me both. My father also insisted I take this. No way! It's her relic. Indeed. This is the Magic Lance Luin, which has been passed down for generations within my family. My father and siblings have no way of using it, since they bear no crest. Father told me I should take it, and use it to protect myself with. He said it's far better used protecting his daughter than gathering dust. Oh, that's so sweet. Your father really does mean well, Ingrid. He's unendingly stubborn, but I am proud of who he is. Dorothea, Professor, I want to thank you. Of course. We couldn't just do nothing while you were facing a life of being married to a monster. I could never hand over my lovely Ingrid to some jerk who only wants her for her crest. Oh, do I belong to you now rather than to myself? <laughs> All right, we got Luan. 
This is how I think it should be pronounced, but it's definitely, it's obviously Lewin, which is a, I don't know, it's not the prettiest name. But anyways, what? Let's go, bro. All right, we're going to do the, ne the next one being Tales of the Red Canyon, because um, that's what I want to do. And I don't really care about these. We'll figure out. We'll, we'll do them at some point. <laughs> um, we'll probably do the next the first half of next month or something like that. I'll do one paralogue. And then the stuff. And maybe we'll... I don't know, man. It's There's so many paralogues to do. But we're going to do Tales of the Red Canyon. Because honestly, I'm really glad that we did uh, the that rumored nuptials one. Because I didn't even think about it. But we got... Uh, Ingrid's freaking crest weapon. I forgot about that completely, so I'm glad we did that. Because that gets her that. And we could have gotten that, you know, a while back, I think. I don't know how long it was available. I think it was available starting last month or something like that. I guess it doesn't matter. Let's do Tales of the Red Canyon. Tales of the Red Canyon. White Clouds Chapter 8, The Flame in the Darkness. Hmm. What was that name again? Zenodo. What's on your mind? Oh, this is frustrating me to no end. I simply can't recall. Oh, I have it. Xanado. Xanado! <laughs> uh, the Red Canyon. That's it. It was not long ago that we were there. And still, I somehow managed to forget. What about it? Well... That place brought back some fragments of my memory. I cannot help but wonder why. I feel we must return to find some answers there. Let's go. Yes, you are right. For as the saying goes, there is no time like the present. It is most unlike our professor to go wandering alone like that. Curious, your highness. Yes, I have an uneasy feeling about this. Let's gather the others and find out what is going on. Yes, it is all coming back to me. This structure. Oh, but it's as though my memories are clouded. The most important pieces are obscured. But I once called this home. I have no doubt. I seem to recall something on the other side of that wall. I cannot see it, but I can still feel it. It is not my imagination. I know this to be true. We are already deep within this valley. Oh, what was that awful sound? You heard it was a terrible scream. Yes, and that was not a normal beast, but a huge and terrifying one. Look, there, at the entrance of the valley, a giant shadow. Dun dun dun! All right, before we go into battle, uh, we're gonna heal up Ash's Iron Bow. Because there's a ton of durability of that in the last battle. Alright, let's uh, get this started. We gotta defeat the enemy commander and defeat his Vifal. What is it now? Those hungry wolves. That howl must have riled them up. We have no choice but to fight our way out. Give it your all! This is bad. It's a good thing we managed to catch up with our professor. Wolves at the front, hawks at the rear, and at the canyon mouth, a demonic beast. Or perhaps to call it a stray beast would be most fitting. We cannot take out the beast. I doubt we will ever see the monastery again. All right. We must help our professor, first and foremost. This is a tough situation for anyone.
this a joke? Why does Ash destroy these guys? I don't get it. He fucking this kicked the all the. Oh my god! I don't even know what to say. Him and Shamir are kicking ass right now. There we go. We win. Holy shit! If Ash doesn't get MVP, that'll be unfortunate because he deserves it. I'll grow as strong as I can. God, he kicked ass. Our work is done. My my, things did not go as planned. Let us return before any more hawks or wolves join us. I could have got that chest. I don't know what's but in. I don't what even really that care. What beast doing within the Red Canyon? I will start talking because I didn't think she'd have another line, but she did. Who gets MVP? Well deserved. Professor, I am so glad that you are unharmed. What if something had happened to you? Your Highness, our instructor is safe. We should return to the monastery at once. Yes, I suppose you are right. If we stay here much longer, we are sure to be reprimanded. It is not untrue to assert that our professor led us here for battle experience. To do, you surprise me. And you, Professor, I hope you will tell us what brought you here. To be fair, oh, I don't dear. know. I put us in a bit of danger there. <laughs> we are most fortunate that those delinquents followed us. You very nearly met your end. <laughs> what a marvelous professor you must be for all your students to be so concerned. I'm proud of us. Hmm. You seem more confident in your ability to teach. But that makes sense. As you have me to help you out. <sighs> How disappointing to have dived so deeply into danger, and yet to have nothing to show. Huh? What is this strange feeling? My memories. Do you feel them stirring? How curious. You seem to have grown stronger. And all thanks to our journey to Xanado. It really was worth all that effort. I found something. I did. Huh? You found this? I dare say you may find a use for that. You should decide how best to use that thing. But wow, we got a lot out of this trip. It was a bother for a spell, but in the end, I feel we should think fondly of our little trip. We actually had a delightful time, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Divine Pulse Maximum has increased. We got an Umbral Steel. Cool. I only used Divine Pulse like in two battles so far, I think. Maybe just one. But cool. Professor. Okay, I believe I'm better suited to healing than fighting rather than training. Sure. What is it today? Holy Kingdom of Fargo's Founding Day. Special Edition Dining Hall. Sure. Sylvain and Ash. This looks delicious. Let's eat. Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. Nice. Ooh, Sylvain went up in heavy armor. <laughs> I'm getting better at this. And Anna went up in faith. Why are you trying to get a faith again? I don't know why that's a thing. It's fine. Ah, <gasps> Marianne's birthday! We're gonna host a tea party. I like Marianne. Okay, Lavender Blend. Did you need something from me? Well, no, not necessarily. Oh, this tea, it's my absolute favorite. I may have looked that up. <laughs> so I was legitimately curious. But everyone has their own per their own favorite, which makes sense, so. Also, apparently, if you have a perfect tea, it basically gives you a do-over for one of them. But... A word of advice. <laughs> I'm cheat-cheating this one. Just because I've... It was actually, like, an, uh, a thing that could... Oh, shit. Cool. Alright. It took me a bit to find the, the right thing. Huh? 
Gardening mishaps. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Cool. I like Marianne. I don't really, uh, I don't know. Oh, joke. I'm hitting the wrong, I'm not even looking at the, the button I need to press. This is, it's always so weird. Let's see, is it, I don't, I have no idea. It's always so weird to me. Why, the camera also pans in a strange place. Like, I just, I don't like. I mentioned that I don't like, it's like right here. This is the center of this whole thing. Anyway, that's good. You know what? I only have owl feathers, so you can have an owl feather. So, happy birthday! Thank you very much for the tea. I look forward to doing this again. Happy birthday, Mary Ann! I just spilled a little bit of coffee. My charm went up, and so did hers. Very cool. You have allies who can take advanced exams. Yep, me and uh, yeah, me and. Frickin' Ingrid. I was forgetting her name for half a second. Actually, I have it because I probably haven't unlocked the... Gotten the things that I need. And it's because I just don't have enough <laughs> fucking shit, dude. Ugh, I don't battle enough. I get so much XP that I don't get to have as many battles as everybody else. And up my actual stats and shit. But we can... I mean, of course Ingrid. Ingrid's the only one who can at the moment. Actually, she can't even get an advanced seal, because she hasn't unlocked whatever she needs to. Because uh, she doesn't have writing to where it needs to be. So, there's that. Alright, well, I'm going to be ending this episode here, guys. So, really you enjoyed, did appreciate it. The next episode, we will uh, basically keep going on, and we'll do more in the month. I have a, a support with somebody. I'm not going to look at who it is. Because I'm curious, but I don't want to look it up. It might be Sylvain, just because of how many battles that I actually did. Because I got rid of, I think, three total health bars. I fought, like, f three or four times in that last battle. So, who knows? Uh, we'll, look, we'll see who it is in the next one. So, it actually even could be someone like Marianne. Just because we did do that... Uh, did do the, the tea time with her, literally, just, like, a minute ago. But... That's where, uh, thank you so much for watching, really enjoyed, did appreciate it, make sure to subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you all later.